Grover here from Adreno and today we're going to be talking about the Onboard Bandit Spearfishing Rubber Repair Replacement Kit. Good little invention that's come out of the States recently to very quickly replace your rubbers on the go. Your kit comes with a few little items, comes with rubber, some reinforced zip ties, a Stanley knife for cutting your rubber, a tensioning tool for lack of a better word that also has a cutting device underneath it, a bridle insertion tool, some bridles, you can always make your own once you run out of these. It has some metal ones as well in case you're still using an old fashioned gun like the Sea Hornet or something along those lines. And two little lovely little things of lubricant. And if you are ever in needing the instructions, they're just on the bottom of the box. Okay, now we'll show you how to put one together. For today's display purposes, we're just going to use the bridles and a piece of spare rubber that we had lying around the shop. Okay, step one, take your bridle, put it into the insertion tool, get it in there nice and tight, otherwise you can come off and stab yourself in the hand, like that and that and that and that. So it's quite easy to do. Then put a little bit of lubricant on the tip of what you're going to insert, and then you want a little bit more lubricant on the hole where you are going to insert it. Then slowly insert it into said hole until it's far enough down that you can get the zip tie on without any problems. <laughs> Live video is a wonderful thing and I hope you all do it one day as I hope you do. It's a fun thing, you never know what you're going to say. <laughs> Next you take a zip tie out. These are reinforced, they're, they're, the design's been taken off the ones you use for fuel lines and things like that when you can't get a hose clamp on there. And they're very strong. You take the zip tie, put it around the rubber and then back through so that it's facing upwards and the ribbing's on the inside. Then pull tension. Once you have tension, you usually want to keep it up a couple of mil from the bottom of the rubber. If it's too close, it can roll over and then cut. Then you take your tool, insert it so that the gripping device is on the inside with the ribbing facing it and so that it's down and hard on the actual piece. Then you pull that up, which pulls tension on your rubber. Then once you have tension, pull the bottom lever, cutting off the excess rubber. And that gives you your, essentially your rubber. Pull your tension back up, and they've got a very long piece of cord. Most people in Australia will only use about that much, but it's quite fashionable in the US to have quite long bits of Dyneema. And then you take your other end, rinse and repeat. I've used this rubber for an earlier demonstration, so I'm just gonna cut a little bit of length off as the rubber already has some damage. So easiest way to cut that off, loop it back over itself, and with the serrated blade pull upwards, you get a nice clean cut very quickly without having to carry any scissors and rinse and repeat. I already explained how the lubricant works so we won't go through that again but I will show you very very nicely so just a little bit like that and then just a little bit on here just a tiny little bit of lubricant doki doki and insert so that it's far enough down you can get your zip tie on hold the ball and remove the handle and rinse and repeat. Ideally you want to have the two zip ties sitting on the top of the rubber so that they don't hit on your barrel and make noise. As we all know a little bit too much noise can make fish run away. And then just the same thing again. Once you've got them on and positioned in the right spot so they sit on top, take your device so that it's sitting with the ribbing facing the tool, pull tension, cut rubber. And you're good to go spearfishing. That's it, Rob's made. <laughs> Are there any questions from the lovely people in the wide world of Facebook? Lucas Swan wanted to let you know you're amazing. I know, Lucas Swan is also amazing. I enjoy coming to work just, just so I can spend time with Lucas Swan. Great, awesome. Uh, Jared, said, Jared said that this is really handy. Can you tell us a little bit about why it's handy, why you know, every boat should have one, basically? Uh, it's just a very quick way to fix your gear. It's also a good thing to have up your sleeve on a boat because these zip ties can fix. A myriad of things on your boat they're very helpful from a cut fuel line to fixing your rubbers the other idea is if you're out spearfishing and it's very fishy particularly with things like wahoo and pelagics that spook quickly and move on you can get in and out of the water and you're repaired ready to go and fire again in from their demonstration videos they've done one in a pool on the bottom and they've done it in about 40 seconds and re-rigged a gun so you can do it incredibly quickly 
and you don't have to carry a massive kit with you with rubber, bridles, Dyneema, constrictor, and do it all. It's also quite easy if you're first getting into the sport. You don't have to rely on years of practice of tying all your knots. Anyone can very quickly fix a rubber. You don't have to worry so much about coming into Adreno and getting us to do it, even though we'd like you to come into Adreno and get us to do it. <laughs> uh, Nick Patterson's asked, are they expensive? So Nick, these ones will retail. They actually land at Adreno in about uh, two weeks time and they will retail for around a hundred dollars uh, so yeah we will have those available just in a couple of weeks online or at Brisbane Sydney and Melbourne uh, Akima has asked can you show how to tie knots on a rubber um, let's 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 do it but can you run and actually Marcel would you mind going yeah. grabbing some rubber and some constrictor cord run and... Marcel run <laughs> yeah. uh, so while we're waiting Trevor have you been spearfishing lately? Yes, I try and get out as often as I can when the weather is conducive these days. I used to dive in rougher conditions a lot more often, but due to a bit of an injury nowadays, I can only go out when it's under five knots. Uh, but yeah, still getting out and it's still good fun. What have you been getting? Uh, anything from coral trout to snapper recently. Mm -hmm. Been getting a few nice ones of those, being that it's winter and it's when they're around. Mm -hmm. uh, funnily enough, a lot of people have been getting some good mangrove jack recently, which is quite unusual for winter. In southeast Queensland. Yes. Right. Wow. Cool. So no, it should be a good summer season. Everything's pointing that way. As long as we don't get too much rain between now and then, we might get some good vis for us. Awesome. Cool. Um, we've got some rubber here. That's right. Some constrictor. Cutting it. That's all right. So That's Trevor's right. going to show us for Akima uh, how to tie a normal knot a on a, a constrictor knot on um, on rubbers. All right. So the easiest way is. Always have the rubber facing horizontally to you and that'll make it a bit less confusing for most people. Rubber goes underneath, back over, and then you'll see that I'm gonna cross over on that back side. Comes back over itself again, crosses back over, and goes back through the loop that it originally came through. So I've done this backwards, which has confused me. <laughs> so I'll now do it the easier way. So underneath, cross over, over the top, so you can see that's crossed, comes back, underneath so that it's now on the other side of that first line and then back through so you'll see the two lines are running parallel on the inside of the knot pull those together make sure they're nice and bunched up if they're too far apart it'll pinch rubber and then pull that knot tight and the other thing you can do is you can tie a couple of little loops in here and use you know any other tools really to pull them tight if you if you want to get them really nice and tight uh, Morgan Dennis is asking, where's some good spots to go to? So I think Morgan, maybe he's around uh, around the southeast Queensland area. Depends where he's based and what depths he's wanting to dive. Uh, mm -hmm. People starting out can start out in some of the rivers down south. Is a good place to learn. Like Tweed, Creek under the bridge. Trumman Creek, yeah. Uh, yeah. Shore diving at Kingscliff is good places to start. Mm -hmm. What kind of species would you expect to encounter at blue grover. Kingscliff? A million blue grover. Blue you grover, you're not them. allowed to you shoot. shoot you just have to look at them, <laughs> pat them, wait for them to come across the northern border, yeah. then shoot them. <laughs> Perfectly legal in Queensland, not in New South Wales. And very tasty. Uh, up this way, because of Morton Bay, it's a bit hard for shore diving and that kind of thing because you've got to cross the bay before you can get to anywhere to dive. But if you're going up off the Sunshine Coast, there's a lot of places you can shore dive. But best in any area, always contact the local fisheries department first to find out where you can and can't. Because there are areas like green zones that you can't spearfish, as well as public appreciation zones, which aren't on your charts. Cool. Awesome. All right. Well, we hope that helps you out, Morgan. If you've got any other questions, Morgan, on, uh, on where to go, you can give us a call. Give our customer service team a call. Reese Wood, he's great to talk to about spearfishing up in customer service. Or visit our Brisbane, Sydney or Melbourne stores as well. Uh, and we can help you out there, Morgan. All right, cool. Thank you for that, Trevor. So uh, basically, yeah, we've just been going through how you can, in a matter of seconds, really, make new spear gun rubbers with the Onboard Bandit kit. If you go to their website at onboardbandit.com, you can watch them actually, they're linked to their YouTube account, and they'll show you them re-rigging a rubber on the bottom of a pool in about 40 seconds. So cool. Super easy. Done quickly. Alrighty. Uh, thank you very much, Trevor, and have a good weekend, everyone. I'll do my best. Bye-bye.